write the contrapositive of this conditional statement. Notice that this is a somewhat complicated conditional statement because we have three individual pieces and we're combining two of them with and. Also we have to talk about the contrapositive. So let's start simply by defining P, Q, and R as our three individual pieces. And we'll define all three of them as positive statements. So P will be, it is windy, not, it is not windy. So we'll avoid the word not in our original statements and we'll just use negations where necessary. Q will be, we can swim. And R will be, we can sail. Again, making our original statements positive ones. Then the original statement, the if, the condition is not P, and that implies Q and not R. So this would be Q, this would be not R. So it implies Q and not R. Again, because we defined our statements positively, we have not P and not R in our ultimate statement. So this still looks complicated, but it's more concise than the English statement. To write the contrapositive, remember we reverse the arrow and negate both pieces. So the contrapositive will look like not Q and not R implies not not P. Now of course not not P is just P. The negation undoes itself. But to negate this AND statement is where we need to use De Morgan's Laws. So again to negate an AND we negate each piece and change AND to OR. And when we negate not R we just get R. This is an illustration of where converting this English statement into symbols helps a lot because we can use these consistent rules and now we have this symbolic contrapositive and we can rewrite that in terms of our original statements. So not Q or R implies P. So if not Q or R, not Q is we cannot swim. or R, we can sail, then P. And as we know, the contrapositive of a conditional statement is equivalent to the original conditional statement. So the statement that we were given and the one that we came up with at the end are equivalent statements. And you can reason through and it should be um, you should be able to see how those are equivalent. But by writing it in symbolic form and then using what we know about the contrapositive together with De Morgan's Laws, we were able to find this equivalent conditional statement, the contrapositive.